comment. Okay, now we're going to move to your reference. You did a good job by looking and saying that a lot of the uh, a lot of what we know the Quran, uh, where it came from, probably came from not from Iraq, not necessarily from Kufa or Baghdad or even further afield, and not from Damascus. It actually came from much further east. And you talked about Merv. Which today is Mary? That's the name, and it would be on the maps today. Mary is the name. It's in, uh, is it Uzbekistan or Turkmenistan? Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. It's in Turkmenistan. And that this, heck, this caused, not a, a lot of people were surprised by this. I think because you're the first to actually introduce this. We've not really come across this word at all. And I loved how you said that Marwan, the whole Marwan family, it means mm-hmm. Marwan from Merv. So it stands to reason that Abdel Malik, who is the most important caliph of the Marwan family coming from Merv that he would be he would be has his influence would have been from Merv most of his background his upbringing all that would have been in Merv and this is the question that came that came from Todd Beamer Todd Beamer asks this he says are there any examples of Christian lectionaries if it is from Merv are there any examples of Christian lectionaries or Aramaic Arabic uh, lectionaries that have been found from that area of Merv or elsewhere that fit that time in that place. If it is from Merv, where are they? Is what he's asking. Why don't we find any example? Or maybe there are. Maybe you're aware of some. Um, so unfortunately, we don't have any Aram- Aramaic lectionaries from that tradition. There are Aramaic lectionaries from other churches, from the Nestorians, from Jacobites, Melkites, um, those churches that are still around, basically. And they, they kept their traditions alive. And we have old manuscripts which have been copied. Um, but none, none of this tradition other than the Quran itself, because no, no, no other church would copy those menu, uh, those manuscripts. Right? So that's that's something that just doesn't happen. Um, um, like the, the materials are really expensive; it's time consuming. Why would you copy a, a heretical text? Right? So that's that's why n- none of those texts um, survived. And. Unfortunately, also Merv was utterly destroyed by the Mongols um, in the 13th century. And they burned everything down, killed the entire population, and really nothing is left of the city. So it's possible that we could find something in Merv um, if, if there's really an effort to dig up Christian sites there. I mean, there are digs going on, but it's a mess, a really large, large place, um, very big, very big archaeological site. So it's it's going to be a, a needle in a haystack to find um, like an Aramaic um, Aramaic lectionary of that specific tradition. Um, hopefully they will at some point. Um, as of now, we don't have anything, unfortunately. That's interesting. So in, in your response, also, I remember when you responded to uh, to Todd, you did say also that the the archaeological digs that are there are mostly on Buddhist sites. There seems to be a eagerness to look at the Buddhist sites. So far, they're not really interested in the Christian sites. Mm. And yet it would be the Christian sites where you would, if there was any text that would be the archetype or the antecedent to what we now came the Quran, that would be where we would find them. We would find it. if they. The Buddhist sites were really um, interesting to the archaeologists because that's like the most westward place that we know of where we actually found Buddhist temples and monasteries. Um, and that makes it really interesting. Um, but yeah, it, the Christian sites would be interesting if, if you want to find um, an early manuscript. We have, and some of the comments that have been coming up also have pointed out that what Mel found, Mel from Sneakers Corner, that yeah. a lot of the pictures, a lot of the artistry has Chinese looking characters. The, even these Muslims uh, are depicted as possibly Mongols, but many of them are from the, the Far East, even further East, which would also support what you're saying that there, if this is all happening in Merv and there is that influence, that Buddhist influence is coming in from the East, that would also appear on the art. The art has been preserved because many of those were kept as pieces of treasure. So those did get preserved. And the, if the art does support what you're saying, if the, if we can't find yet the, uh, the, the manuscripts, because yeah. the art would not be heretical, whereas the manuscripts would. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Fascinating. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, listen, if you have people have Ron respond to that, Todd, does that answer your question? Let us know right here, the comments. This is Jay and Thomas over and out. Mm-hmm.